The government might have trouble reuniting families, but a private group wants to help with a $20 million fund that could make bond payments for thousands of detained parents. Danny Koble has more from our Washington Bureau. The Refugee and Immigrant Center for Education and Legal Services said today that they will use the money to reunite parents with their children. But Democratic lawmakers here today say they are still upset with what they see as the government's inaction. Angry Democrats asked how the Trump administration is going to reunite thousands of migrant family members if it couldn't even meet today's deadline for a fraction of that number. If the government can, cannot reunite just these 102 children, it's inconceivable that they will reunite the nearly 2,900 by the end of the month as ordered by the court. The news conference came as ICE and Department of Health and Human Services officials said in a call with reporters that the delay in reunification is because they have to put the children's safety first to make sure the kids are placed properly. But Arizona Congressman Raul Grijalva, who visited a migration center Friday, said it's past time to put those families back together. Uh, that chaos has turned into a humanitarian crisis. It has turned to a great deal of suffering and agony on the part of children uh, that I visited in Tucson. One way to speed the process is the privately raised legal fund touted here today by Jennifer K. Falcon, a spokeswoman for Rice. We are here today to post bonds. Millions of people across the world have donated over $20 million to RACIS and their message is clear. There is zero tolerance for the separation of families. Whatever happens, Democrats insist that it needs to happen soon, that the harm of keeping children and their parents separated is too great. Leaders want reunification to be their top priority. This must be our number one priority, no matter how complicated or how difficult. Despite Schumer's insistence, administration officials said that they will continue to move carefully. Of the first 102 children they checked for reunification, they found 14 cases of people claiming to be parents but were not, or they were facing criminal charges. In Washington, Danny Koble, Cronkite News.